Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tiffany, and this week I'm talking to you guys about something that you guys may not like. I'm talking to you guys about school. And if you guys did not know, I just finished high school, so like you're like actual school school and like not university or college. I just finished school. So, I thought I'd tell you guys 12 things I learned in my 12 years of schooling since I finished the 12th grade. Number one, for all these Shakespeare books you have to read, you never know what they are, never know what they mean, and if you do, you have to spend hours just trying to think of what they actually are saying. It's called No Fear Shakespeare. No Fear Shakespeare translates Shakespeare into words and paragraphs that you're gonna know and most of the time there's a PDF online PDF version number two do your homework it actually counts for a big part of your grade for three kind of contradicts what I said it's a big part of the grade but don't stress your grades too much yes they're a huge part of school and it's a great thing to do good but there's other parts of school focus on friends and your social interactions and extracurricular activities don't always just worry about your grades. If you get one bad test grade, it's not the end of the world. Four, you will lose friends. But it's okay because you'll find some true friends that are great and then you know they're going to be there forever. So yeah, you're going to go into high school with tons of friends and come out with less friends or different friends. You may meet your best friends your senior year of high school. Number five, getting involved in things can really make high school the best four years of your life. Number six, travel with your friends. No matter if it's a different country, a different state, different province, or just around your town at late night. No matter what, you'll have fun. Pack a bunch of friends in the car and drive around and you will have experiences and memories that you are going to remember forever. Number seven, some teachers you're gonna like. And they might be one of the best human beings you ever meet. And guess what? You are gonna miss them. You're gonna get to know teachers and you're going to come to love them and really appreciate what they do and all that they taught you. And you're gonna realize that you're really gonna miss them. So get their email, probably their personal email. Get their email, get their phone number, do something, keep in touch with them. When you come back from spring break, maybe you and a group of friends can like hit your teacher up and be like, hey, wanna go get lunch. It really can be an amazing thing. Get to know your counselor, not just your teachers, but your counselor. They're gonna be, they should be your best friend because they will be there for you through everything and they will help you through school, life, and everything. Get to know your counselor and be best friends with your counselor. Number eight, talking mainly about high school, but prom, the guy doesn't always have to ask the girl. If you wanna go with someone, a friend, go ask him out. Or if like the more powerful one, as you would say, in the relationship, you don't have to be asked. You don't have to wait to be asked to go out with someone or to go to prom with someone or homecoming or any kind of dance or any kind of date. Ask them. Most of the time, they'll appreciate the thought and say yes. So number nine, sometimes it takes you to your last year to really find out where you fit in the school. You might go through 11 years of your schooling and not know where you really belong in the school until your last year of school. I Number 10, volunteer. It looks really good on a college application. You help someone out. You also help yourself out because it makes you feel better and it makes you feel like you really... Number 11, you don't have to look good every day of your life. And now we've come to number 12. And this is kind of cheesy, but it is just be yourself. Hope you guys really liked this video, and I will see all of you nameless people next week. Goodbye. Be yourself. Have fun. You can make it an amazing 12 years of your life. You, you can do this. You can make it through and be who you want to be. And that is all I have for you today. Subscribe, like, share this video, leave a comment about one tip you have for school or one thing you've learned in school. 
Um, I hope you guys liked this video a lot. It's kind of like a different video than what I filmed. Number six, I think. I'm also really hoping that this actually filmed. Also, um, I filmed this, like me dyeing my hair. If you cannot see it, I don't know if you can see it or not because it's not super bright. Um, but I ended up not using the footage because you couldn't really see me doing anything because my hair was so long and the tripod wasn't down far enough. Um, but yeah, I dyed my hair. So I 